In this learning module, we will use STATA. Suppose we would like to examine the effects of regions, which is considered our main independent categorical variable, and admissions, that is our continuous covariate variable, on total hospital expenditures. It will be appropriate to use ANCOVA in this example, as we have one main independent variable and a continuous covariate. The outcome is continuous as well, that is, the total hospital expenditures. However, first you should check whether admissions is independent of the region's variable. In other words, we need to check in the proposed analysis where admissions is a covariate that, it, that this variable is roughly equal across the levels of our categorical independent variable that is, uh, regions, consisting of seven groups. We conduct ANOVA to determine whether admissions, the covariate, is independent of the region variable, and therefore the outcome variable in this analysis will be admissions, and region will be our independent variable. In order to test the independence between the covariate and the main independent variable, we run ANOVA. Therefore, in STATA, you will first simply use the command ANOVA, then place admissions first, because we treat this as the dependent variable, and geographical region as our second variable in the command line, because that's the main independent variable. Now, once you hit run and you conduct the analysis in STATA, we observe that the average number of admissions does not vary significantly across different levels of the variable regions. As you can see, the p-value for that is 0 0.6636. So what this means is that the admissions is independent of geographic region. Therefore, it is appropriate to use admissions as a covariate in the analysis. Now that we have tested that the admissions is independent of geographic region, we can go ahead and conduct ANCOBA analysis in STATA. Notice that the command we use for ANCOVA is actually ANOVA. After the command ANOVA, we enter the dependent variable, which is total expenditures, and then the two independent variables. The difference here is that we need to indicate which independent variable is continuous, which serves as our, our covariate, and which variable is categorical. When we place the C dot before admissions, we are telling STATA that this variable is treated as continuous. By placing I dot in front of geographic region, we are telling STATA that this variable is treated as a categorical one. Then we simply run the analysis and we have the following output. In this output, we have the source of variation, which is the model, admissions, geographic region, and the residual. We're dealing with partial sum of squares, and we have the degrees of freedom, the mean square, the F value for each of those sources of variation, as well as the P value. We notice that both admissions and geographical region are significant predictors of total expenditures since their p-values are less than 0.05 or one may say that they both significantly influence total expenditures. However, the interpretation of the region would be to say that the means of total expenditures are significantly different across the different regions after partialing out the effect that the covariate has on the outcome. Once we run ANCOVA, then we need to check 
the homogeneity of regression slopes assumption. We can test this assumption by customizing the ANCOVA model. We will run an ANCOVA model that includes both the main effects of each variable, that is admissions in region in this case, as well as an interaction term between admissions and region. If the interaction effect is significant, then the assumption of homogeneity of slopes has been broken or violated. So the command line now in Stata will look as follows. You place ANOVA, then the dependent variable, the two independent variables, plus the interaction between admissions and geographic region. In this case, we notice that the interaction is significant since the p-value is less than alpha. In this case, it is 0 0.0003. Therefore, the assumption is not tenable. These findings raise concern about the main analysis. It shows why it's important to test assumptions. In summary, ANCOVA compares several means, but it adjusts for the effect of one or more variables called covariates. Age is an example of a covariate where researchers usually want to adjust for or control for in the analysis. Before ANCOVA analysis, you should check that the independent variables, that is the main categorical and continuous covariate, are independent. You can do that by running ANOVA to check that the covariate does not differ significantly across groups of the independent variable. When it comes to interpreting the findings, if the p-value is less than 0.05, then for the covariate it means that this variable has a significant effect on the outcome. For the independent variable, it means that the means are significantly different across the levels of this independent variable after parceling out the effect that the covariate has on the outcome. We test the same assumptions as in ANOVA with the addition of the homogeneity of regression slopes. This can be done by customizing the ANCOVA model and where we insert an interaction term between the covariate independent variable and the um, categorical independent variable. If the interaction term is not significant, the assumption of the homogeneity or regression slope holds.